Hello Aries, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of March 2019 Love and Romance Reading. I've gotten a lot of requests for Love and Romance Reading so I thought I'd go ahead and dive in and see what the messages uh, are that I need to translate for whichever uh, uh, Aries this is. For the first half of March 2018, I always pray for spirit to help uh, those who need this guidance the most. All right, so to start off with, I am feeling the energies of a particular Aries who feels as though they have connected with someone who is a very karmic or lucky connection. This person may be financially abundant and or uh, secure. Uh, they are, <clears throat> this Aries is feeling like uh, they are trying to get to the truth of a situation uh, that makes them a little bit anxious. It makes them anxious because there are energies of lies and deceit here. Uh, there has been communication that makes this Aries feel really good. It makes the Aries feel like they want to take a risk uh, when it comes to this connection. Uh, but this communication, I feel, has mostly been via community, society, social media. It's kind of been at a distance. It's kind of been off and on. But it has made for this Aries want to make a wish come true because they have come to think that this is for sure a karmic connection. But this is definitely a lesson, a karmic lesson, of making sure that the decision is in the highest, best Good, not only for the Aries, but for all whom are involved in the Aries life. So, uh, in the first week of March 2019, I feel as though there's an Aries who wants to get together and connect and be playful with another, to talk with this person, maybe face to face, to get to the truth of their illusions. Uh, what is the truth? Uh, to the situation that feels as though uh, I am connecting with a soulmate. In the first couple weeks of March 2019, this Aries is going to be thinking about moving into a new path, a new direction of sorts. They are um, receiving kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, maybe even invitations that are tugging at their heartstrings. Uh, but they are feeling as though they are not sure if this person is truly devoted to them 100%. So by mid-March 2019, uh, this Aries is being guided to research the connection a little bit longer, to actually discuss the future with this person, to make sure that this person wants a long-term commitment or not. All right, so... Uh, before this reading, in order to save a little bit of time, I laid out the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and I did a circle spread. So, in the middle of the circle spread, we have an Aries who is being guided to free their energies from one situation or another, meaning I am feeling like some Aries may already be in a connection with a person as they are thinking of someone else, and this sounds really familiar to a personal reading that I did. Um, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, spiritual advice is saying uh, it's okay to think of this playful connection, but to leave things uh, in a very light way, okay? Don't give away your mind, body, and soul. Clear your mind and think clearly about where the answers you need to find, okay? Be light and playful but don't give away your mind, body, and soul just because there's a strong magnetic attraction. Make sure you discuss future goals and intentions with and for another. So see, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, there could very well be a connection whereby someone is married, whether it's the Aries or someone else. Subconsciously, this Aries knows that at some point uh, there isn't enough attraction or chemistry to maybe go the distance or they're fearing that there is unrequited love. This Aries may be in a partnership 
and they are not completely all in with their current partnership. Uh, this Aries could be married or, again, they're thinking the other person um, is not going to go the distance. They may even think this other person is married, which I can decipher for you in a personal reading. Now, in the creative aspects of the position, uh, a position of the circle spread, this Aries is trying to create, again, the possibility to connect, to meet face to face so that they can decipher as to whether or not this truly is a soulmate connection. To decide whether or not they can discuss and or move into a new direction. So Aries, you're being guided in your actions position to ask for and to accept help from others, from your friends, from someone you can trust or to kind of put this person in the friend zone so that you can discuss the future without giving away your mind, body, and soul to another that may not be completely all in. So in your inner strengths position, Aries, Spirit's advice is, and they're going to give you the strength to remain optimistic about your love life as you get to the truth of a situation. Because I do believe that uh, all the way through to mid-March 2019, there is going to be an undeniable magnetic attraction um, between this Aries and this other person. So in a three-card summary to my right, Spirit saying, go ahead and express your love. Right? Make the romantic gesture. You know, be kind, caring, loving, giving, and supportive. Uh, but spirit saying, wait uh, for the truth, because you may come to the realization that this person sees the connection differently. They just want the passionate part of the connection, but they don't want something for the long term. Some Aries by the second week of March 2019 is going to are going to recognize that this other person is wearing a false mask. Or the Aries is wearing a false mask because they're desiring reconciliation. Maybe with someone from their past, someone they knew before. Spiritual advice is saying, let go of trying to control the situation. Enjoy the connection for what it is. This person may be completely different than what you made them up to be in your mind. And for some Aries, it is time to really recognize, am I codependent? Am I addicted to sex, to passion, to the thoughts of another? Either way, by mid-March 2019, this Aries is going to be guided to make the effort to decide what is in for your highest best good and maybe in the highest best good of your children, Aries. Your family. Sometimes we become addicted to our fantasies because we want so much love. But spiritual advice is saying self-love is what will gain you the greatest respect. Pray to spirit and trust that spirit will guide you in the highest best path for your highest best good so that you don't cause negative karmic consequences. So I'm going to actually look at the energies of this other person that Aries is involved with using the Gilded Tarot deck by Chiro Marsetti. Circle spread, please. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, for this particular Aries energy on into and through the first half of March 2019. What are this person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to Aries in the first half of March 2019? Okay. So this person sees this as a very strong connection. 
They may even also feel as though you, Aries, are a soulmate for them. In your thoughts, you're being guided, remember, to remain playful in the first week and a half or two of March. To not give away your mind, body, and soul to a connection that is very magnetic, very passionate. This person may be thinking about racing towards you and speaking their truth. They may have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or they're just coming towards you to say, what is the truth of the situation? Or they're thinking about that. In their relationship sector, they're feeling poverty conscious, like they don't have enough money, enough love. They're feeling sad down and depressed. So this Aries is hoping for maybe a commitment with this person, but this person that Aries is thinking of is going through maybe the dark night of the soul, having to reflect. So there is a, there are surprises. This person that Aries is thinking of is trying to create a surprise. They want to surprise you, Aries, maybe with kind words, flowers, gifts, kind messages, and invitation that makes you want to reconcile, to come together with this person for some tied to your past. But this person, whether you come face to face or not in the first half of March 2019, is trying to take action to get beyond old energies of pain, anguish, sadness, and regret. They're tired of fighting some form of battle that they know they will never win. So again, take action, Aries, to come together and to be supportive of this person. Some Aries are going to recognize that this person is just not ready to move forward anyway. So again, maybe put this person in the friend zone so you can get to know where each other are at so you can discuss what this has been about. You're feeling a strong magnetic attraction to this person, but this person doesn't quite know what they have to offer or they don't trust in what this Aries has to offer them. So in their subconscious position of the circle spread, they see their ship coming in after putting a lot of work out there. They're feeling down maybe because, Aries, you're in a previous commitment. After some communication, some Aries are going to either tell this person that they're no longer in love with the one they're with, or this Aries is going to recognize that this person is more focused on the passion coming their way. Because there's an Aries here by mid-March 2019 that's going to recognize one way or another that there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a particular partnership going. But day to day, this Aries is trying to get to the truth of, is this my soulmate? For some Aries, they may be contemplating forward movement in a new direction with someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or they're trying to get to the truth of will there be financial prosperity and stability in my future? This person is thinking the same thing. What do I have to offer this person? What does this person have to offer me? 
What does the Aries have to offer me? Should we move forward together? By mid-March 2019. So the person Aries is dealing with with the Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe. Is helping this person that Aries is thinking of to have the strength to open up to create a new path, a new journey, to discuss a future together because this person in their actions position is getting tired of fighting this battle. This person is wanting to give up the battle altogether and yet emotionally Something is missing here. This person doesn't believe that Aries is really opening their heart to them. But this person, Aries, is also focused more on the passionate connection. It's almost like they're saying, this is all I have is this idea and the passionate connection. You're bo it's like this Aries is mirroring this other person and there hasn't been anything to build on until you discuss the future, until you meet up with one another, until you get together face to face. So in a three card summary, Aries, the person you're thinking of is trying to look at things from every perspective. They're trying to, with the four of swords, figure out, am I gonna continue to put energy into the situation that I've spent three of my four swords in battle doing or am I going to cut away from this path altogether I would like to give birth to a new path whereby this person can move forward with me I want to open my heart therefore I'm going to communicate I'm going to listen to my intuition Aries this person is hoping or sees you as a very financially independent and secure person. But they feel stuck fighting this battle. They're ready to turn around and walk through the door behind them. Though a little part of them wants to see if the two of you can move forward into a new chapter. Aries, the person you're asking about is looking at their life and they're trying to research forward movement. They're trying to bring, bring closure to uh, a part of their journey in their life path. They're bringing something to an end in their life. And they're trying to have the strength to open up to you. This person may have Leo in their chart. They are fantasizing a happily ever after. They're walking away from someone who has air in her chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or they see you as speaking your truth, which is good. The truth is what sets us all free. So by mid-March 2019, I feel like both of you are trying to see if this is a fair and balanced connection. This person is going to speak their truth. And say, here are my goals and intentions for the future. I'm tired of waiting around in this painful energy. Therefore, one way or another, I'm moving on. I'm leaving troubled waters in my life behind. I'm making new wishes come true. And they may come towards you. Because they're trying to heal from something and they're not making the best decisions. They're maybe using this passion to help pull themselves out of sadness in their life. So they're now to a point where they want to bring an end to a head or heart decision. Justice is turning in their favor and they're thinking about moving into a more fulfilling path. 
They are healing. Yes, they're laying down an old path. And they're opening up their heart. But right now it's only built on passion. There needs to be discussions of a new chapter for the both of you. And that could happen for a lot of people in the first half of March 2019, Aries. So I'm going to bring in a final word of prayer for this particular Aries. And thank you to those of you whom have clarified for me that this is indeed your energies and or your messages. These are. Word of prayer, please, for this particular Aries energy. To carry them on into and through the first half of March 2019. So Aries, positive thoughts are what will create positive results in your life. So your prayer is, Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and every situation. And Spirit's saying you guys are guarded and protected. It's okay to explore your life, explore your options in an innocent, playful way. Believe and trust that this person is acting in their highest, best good. If you'd like a personal reading, feel free to contact me via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list will be in the window below. I am still offering the Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25, if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.